she's done it again. Zendaya has once again essentially just gone full cosplay on the red carpet and in turn has bewitched me body and soul. I have to make it. <laughs> In case you missed it, recently at the Dune 2 premiere, Zendaya sported this robot armor originally by, and I am going to butcher this name, Mugla. Mugla, or an American Muggler. I'm not sure why those are so different. Terry Mugla. Terry Mugla. Mugla. Okay, well, you, you got the idea. I have something I like to call crafter's audacity that allows me to think that I can make anything. We're about to find out if I am, as the kids say, the Lulu. So <laughs> let's talk about the armor. If we break this down piece by piece, it's really not that bad. Rarely have I done full body, which I think is where the challenge is going to come. Also doing this in a week. To do this, I am going to use the tried and true warbler and foam method. Do I have any warble in here? That is the question. It might be behind this giant backdrop. Frick! Warbla, in case you haven't heard of it, is a thermoplastic. You heat it up with a heat gun and then it becomes pliable and moldable. And then as it cools back down, it stays in that shape. Even more specifically for this project, I am going to be making a sandwich. Taking a layer of very thin craft foam, slapping it onto the warbla and creating a more sturdy piece. For my recreation of this, I am going to skip the butt cheek part. I am actually six years old. Quite silly. After seeing all the memes of uh, people questioning what happens when she farts, which I would imagine would resemble that one scene from the 1997 cinematic masterpiece, Rocket Man. Not to be confused with the Elton John biopic. I've never seen it. There might be a similar scene. I can't speak to it. First thing we need to do in this project is make a pattern. And to do that is one of maybe uh, the most moist cosplay methods there is. Plastic wrap, duct tape. I do definitely suggest getting a helper for this. Someone to help wrap you like the weirdest maypole ever. I also suggest that this person is uh, close to you because things can get pretty intimate. <laughs> After you have completed the mummification process, it's time to repeat that, but with duct tape. Definitely a fun date night activity and you only want to dissociate just a little bit. Also definitely guaranteed to bring up some romantic dialogue such as Can you try to draw a straight line from my butt crack up to my neck? Alright, can you kiss me and you go back to Thank you. Make sure you tell them you're covering your wife and duct tape. Tell them definitely won't say that. Good morning. I hope you're ready because from now until probably the end of the project, this is what you're getting. Goblin mode activated. I also don't love when I match my coffee mugs, but it happens. Tis the first full day of work. I've got my uh, duct tape carcass. Do you ever feel like a duct tape shell? Basically, I have to reanalyze this and figure out what goes where. I think I have to re-put it on a mannequin. And for that, I'm gonna need Betty out of the basement. And I will explain that no further. <laughs> I only need half of it because we're just making pattern pieces. Come on now. Me, 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 me. Don't you lose an arm now. You're fired. You lost a hand. All right, pivot. Incoming. <sighs> Definitely not like a Doctor Who episode. Me. Oh, easy. It's like a Lady Gaga outfit. We all get diapy butts sometimes. Bro, you got bulging forearms. But little skinny legs, how does that work? I'm aware I sound like the rudest tailor ever to exist. Girl, your calves. Why are they so bulbous? I still remember the day I picked you up, my friend. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Memories.
Lest ye never forget the importance of labeling things. I immediately forgot where this was supposed to go. You know an Amelie, when it introduces a character's likes and dislikes? My dislike would probably be this. Rachel n'aime pas quand le papier s'enroule comme un bracelet à pression. Oh, here are all the pattern pieces. I'm not ashamed to say, I'm shaking in my metaphorical boots. <laughs> To get my confidence up a little, I'm gonna start on the smaller piece for a test. I think I'm gonna do the bracer. I need something to um, boost my ego a little. <laughs> I think. Let's do it. And pretty quickly when using this cutting board as a base for heating this up. Basically the idea to make this sandwich is that you heat up the warbler, place the foam in the middle, and then kind of wrap the edges around with a little bit more heat. But my friends, do not be like me. Use a heat safe mat. <laughs> Normally I would redo this, but we're just gonna move on because warbler is expensive as hell. I got to work on the second bracer, taking the knowledge that I just learned from my mistakes. Once your delectable sandwich is complete, you can heat it up more and then heat form it to your body. And as you can see, the first attempt was garbage. Both the bracer and the bicep piece were a little too short, so I did end up having to kind of make a little extension piece. Let's look at the progress. We have the bicep and the bracers. I'm pretty happy with it. It's, uh, it's not super clean. So that's really good progress for today. Tomorrow, we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna go have a snack. And I suggest you do too. You deserve it. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Don't watch me. We're here at the craft store because I need more foam and uh, better exacto blades. Ah, classic. The old neck mess around. Is this in park? This is in park, right? Where is it? Okay. All right, let's go. You know, I remember the days when Michaels had Warbla and cosplay supplies. Damn you, Michael! kids foam sheets. Uh, unfortunately, this is kind of small compared to the old packs that I used to get. So I did also grab some bigger individual sheets. I'm gonna do the chest piece because it's really intimidating me. Maybe if I, I start with that and get that out of the way, maybe I'll feel better about things. Went in and I made these holes bigger. They weren't quite matching the reference. So now I feel like they match a little bit better. Every lady superhero getting ready for a battle. It's fine. It's lumpy, it's bumpy. But who among us, right? Kind of repair work here. Could not get it to bend almost completely 90 degrees or 45. Uh, listen, you're not here for math, are you? Without it bulging, so I kind of had to cut like a dart and then refill that with warbler. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, let's do it. A lot of this project was just adjusting by looking at the reference photos. Like for instance, she had this little gill underneath the main bodice piece. And so I tried to replicate that with the craft foam sheets. 
Also for the neck piece, I redid a pattern piece because it was just easier for me to draw it on and have full control over what I wanted it to look like. For the shoulder pieces, I really just wung it, baby. I made these little darts like you would in fabric to kind of allow a more rounded shape once I glued it all together. After I was looking like a little football player, I was pretty happy. All right, you ready? <laughs> I might cut that down just a little bit. That's not bad, I think, for the front. And then I just have to do the back. Ooh wee. I need a nap. Okay. <sighs> Calling that it for today and then tomorrow. Again, just gonna keep on working. Also, for those of you wondering, yes, I have created a human tornado explosion. <sighs> Let's talk progress. Oh, as the great Kevin McAllister once said, woof. So it is now, I guess, technically day five. Progress has been made. Essentially, I did a whole day's worth of work and didn't really talk to the camera. So let me talk about, <sighs> let me talk about what I did. I was awaiting a shipment of Warbla, so the day started with this seemingly kindergarten craft. But actually, it would serve as the template for my finger armor. Each finger except the thumb has three different joints, so I made those. Since they have to act as sort of rings and wrap around my finger, I measured my fingy. Accounted for that until it looked like little tiny Buzz Lightyear packages. Realizing I probably could have worded that better, but anyways, I tested out all the templates on my fingers, making adjustments as I saw fit, and then transferred all of those to foam, which ended up being a little fruitless, and I will explain why. Initially, I tried the same sandwich method I had been using, but it was a little too thick. And while it did give the inner child in me a little flashback of uh, bugle witch fingers, it was way, way too thick. So I ended up sandwiching with just two layers of warbla, and it was way thinner and way easier to form around my fingers. I have never felt sassier than I have felt putting that finger armor on my hands. <laughs> I am officially concluding that if I wore these on a daily basis, all of my life problems would cease to exist. The confidence? <laughs> mm. Added bonus of being perfect for scritches. Baggins. Finally, my new shipment of Warble came in, so I got to work on the Warble diaper. <laughs> Listen, there is no graceful way to heat form this to your own body. Either you look like a 65 year old man unabashedly picking a gigantic wedgie, or if you use a mannequin, <laughs> you get ready for some sensual caressing. Plan for today. I'm gonna try to finish up all the base pieces. I have to do the back, the two thighs, the two calves, and then all of the hinges on the elbows and the kneecaps. Once we're done with that, I can start adding some of the details in, fancy frills and gills on the diaper and on the butt. Perhaps start sealing some of the foam and some of the war blood. What have I done? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I have faith, I think, that I might be able to pull this off. Just might. <laughs> So as far as the leg armor, I'm gonna be real with you. I am switching to EVA foam. Not only could I not order Warbla in time to finish this, but also Warbla is freaking expensive. When I think about how much I've already spent on Warbla for this project, I want to vomit. I don't think I could justify buying any more. I'm gonna switch to EVA foam, which is much cheaper. We're gonna see how it performs, I guess. So that's here. I can skip the whole sandwiching part, so that's good. I'm still gonna have to heat it up to form it to my leg. <laughs> Butter. 
I am sure there was a better way to do the frills on the diaper, but I just kind of eyed it and cut out as I thought necessary, covered it all in contact cement, started layering on the gills. This morning really started as a catch up where I was gluing a lot of straps, finishing up the tiny little pieces that I hadn't done yet. I started making all the details that I needed to make for my little Michael Jackson power gloves. It's crunch time, baby. And I am feeling it. I am eby and eby sleepy. As you can see, I did not get to any of the ceiling. It turns out I had a lot more to do before I could do that. So that's, that's fine. But that means I have to do it now and hope that it is going to set in enough time that I can paint it because the photo shoot is tomorrow. It's not my brightest moment. <laughs> this is the part in the project where adrenaline kicks in. I'm ready. Flex bond and gesso. Read that ceiling warbler, gesso, many layers of gesso is what a lot of people do. But I don't know if those people know about flex bond because it's specifically by warbler. And I've used it for my dragon project. Dries fast, sets really nice and glossy and smooth. I essentially spent all day just coating every piece, sometimes in a couple different layers. And then that night, I hand painted a lot of the pieces with the chrome paint that I have, which yet again proved to be a fruitless endeavor, which I will explain, aside from my time lapses being thwarted by an unexpected visitor. Excuse me? Making my way downtown. Uh, can you buzz off? Eventually I did run out of this tiny little bottle and I switched to chrome spray paint. <sighs> Which was way better. I don't know why I didn't do this initially. I think I just had bad experiences with chrome spray paint not being this shiny, but I think because of all the layers of flex bond that I used, it really, really helped make this shine. It's the final countdown. All right, partners, photo shoot is in T minus eight hours. Yikes. Okay, so <laughs> last night I did go in and paint everything. It's time to do the plastic bits. See that? Oh, lost my balance a little. <laughs> this, my friends, is transparent warbler. Same idea as regular warbler. I should be able to heat form this. Just one layer. For the chest area, <laughs> booby dome which sounds a little bit like a very intense combat arena. Welcome to the booby dome. This is just an acrylic half dome, five inches diameter. I am using this for forming, which I think will come in handy for other future armor projects. If you're like me, constantly toiling the line, booby armor <laughs> or just no booby armor. Okay. Ow. Make little darts around the edges. I don't know what I'm doing. Ow. All right, all right, we're getting there. I like a glove. Ouch. Aha! I only need like that much. That was not bad. <laughs> And then the Fire Nation attacked. Uh, uh, uh. I am I like this. The process of the other clear plastic bits was really, really easy. I would just slightly heat form it to the place that I wanted it to go and then hot glue it into the holes. 
This part of the process was definitely daunting me the entire time. I was a little nervous that leaving this for the last minute would really bite me in the tushy, but it wasn't that bad. And so naturally I will continue forth and not learn anything from my mistakes. So slight change of plans which I'm very grateful for. Olivia, who's gonna be taking the photos for me, is an angel and suggested that we do it tomorrow morning and not tonight. I have been running around like an old wizard who has lost something integral to his studies. And I am exhausted. So that gives me the night to just really make sure everything is okay, get the photo shoot area set up and just everything that I need to do. And so, with that being said, I will see you. Oh, ta-da! I was gonna just do the wrap-up tomorrow because I am very tired, but you know what? This is what the end of a gigantic week-long project looks like. She is done. <laughs> I have thought of nothing but this project. Fine dining and breathing. Freaking happy and like kind of emotional that it's done even though it was only a week of my life. I'm gonna be honest with you, about halfway through, I kind of got the, what am I doing? Is this entirely pointless? Is this an extraordinary amount of effort for something that I'm probably not going to wear all that often? Yes. It was more or less just a project to see if I could actually do it and what I'm capable of in a week. Recently, my projects have been very sewing based. Therefore, my confidence has just been very wavering, kind of selfish. And I just wanted to see if I could do it. And I think overall, I'm super freaking happy with it. One of those projects that I think I'm gonna look at and be like, I didn't make that. <laughs> I think that it looks pretty dang similar. For the most part, it's pretty symmetrical. Coming from me, very surprising. There are a few pieces that are a little wonky. The thigh guard does not come up as far as hers, but I don't know, I don't mind it. It kind of gives like a more retro, like 60s go-go vibe. <laughs> There are some messy bits, like up here was a little bumpy and messy. Some of the leg pieces could have fit a little bit better. I knew going into this, it was not gonna be perfect. I'm very happy with the results. This project was an exercise in self-restraint because you have no idea how badly I wanted to weather this baby. Put dirt in the corners and put rust, dripping rust. I am very tempted to take this armor, make it look like it belongs in the Fallout universe. And so I just might, it's gonna be very weird not working on it. I do feel like I just birthed this newborn child and now I need to just put it to the side until I have need for it again. So yeah, I hope that you had fun with this journey. If you would like to see a behind the scenes of the whole photo shoot with Olivia, and me getting into all of this armor. You know I'm a dark crystal, those big- No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't kill me, I haven't watched it. <laughs> I'm going to have an extra video up on Patreon next week. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm going to take the longest nap any human ever took. I love you whether you're new or old. I love you whether you are new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey hey A few <laughs> My autofocus thinks that the nipples are eyeballs. No. <laughs>